In middle school, we seven met grade. in middle school. Yeah, seventh grade. It's actually a pretty funny story. We was in athletics, and I had micro braids on, and my it was you know the weave, the micro braids weave, and Harmony had came up to me and asked me, "Was that my real hair?" <laughs> She's so terrible. <laughs> because that's how. We- I didn't know. I was, we were just, we were just, it's okay. Forty people never know. Cause I can't tell you how many white people came up to me and was like, oh my gosh, how did your hair get so long? It's, it's braids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We were just outside in athletics. Never do that again. I don't know why we did that. But yeah, we were just outside. <laughs> we were just, <laughs> we were just outside in athletics. And yeah. We was, I was sitting, we were sitting next to each other and they was doing something. Yeah, that's when we, I asked her, is that your real hair? Yeah. And she was like, no, it's a weed. I was like, oh, okay. I didn't know what you were talking about. Come on. But yeah, uh, we met athletics seventh grade in middle school. Okay, next question is, what's your favorite memory together? We had a lot of memories. I don't know if I could narrow it down to just one. We've known each other since we were 12 years old. No. Mm, favorite memory. Well, I say my favorite memory of us together, it's kind of it's recent, was when uh we planned, we were planning uh the guard. We was planning your birthday. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was a good memory of... So Tierra had her her birthday. It was in February, and you know we're both in color guard at our high school. We just graduated like a, a week, two weeks ago. Yep, twenty thirteen. Yeah, yep. <laughs> we just graduated, and we're both in color guard, and uh, we had a competition. And for those of you who don't know what color guard is, color guard is not color guard like ROTC. It's like color guards like marching band, flags, rifles, dance, all that stuff. Um, so we were at a competition. It was in February, her birthday, and we had a competition the day of her birthday. So it was like two weeks ago before this all even happened. Um, I got the some of the guard members together, and we were like secretly planning a surprise for her. <laughs> we were planning a surprise for her so like we had all this stuff we got her favorite drink sweet tea from Chick-fil-A or Sonic we got a she loves sweet tea we got uh, we got some we got a cookie cake what else did we get we got Sprite poster board we the teddy bear I got the teddy bear a teddy bear uh yeah we we she was spoiled that day so, <laughs> like before, before we was before we was uh, getting ready to go to the competition or whatever, getting ready to prep, like do a run through of our show before we went off to comp- to compete. We uh, put all this stuff in a box, all her stuff in a box, and she thought we when she came in, she thought that box was for one of our guard, other guard members. Cause we we were gonna play a uh we were originally gonna do a prank on one of our guard members. We was like, no, nah, it's kind of too much or whatever. So we took the box that we were gonna use to prank the guard member and we put her birthday stuff in that. But she, everybody else knew that we weren't gonna do it, but she still thought that we were gonna do it. So this is the box. So after yeah, after all that, we we put the box like. 
we put the box and stuff on the bus. We were going to competition on the bus, going to competition, and who was we going to eat? Whataburger? Whataburger? Yes, Whataburger. Yeah, we and the water, Whataburger. And, uh, and soon, soon we were about to turn. The bus driver was about to turn. I was like, oh my God! And everybody else was like, what? And I was like, I left the cake at the school. <laughs> I was like, oh my god! I was like, so it was like, what are we gonna eat? We ain't got no cake and all this stuff. I was like, I know. And so uh, while we was so, it was um, one of the guard members. A guard member was sitting next to me. Her name is Hannah, and she she was trying to like after like the bus driver dropped us off to go get water burger. We had me and Hannah had got our food first. And then so after all, after we got, after we um, ordered our food, we went around like looking for a cake and stuff. And we went to some cookie cake store. It was closed. There was still somebody in there. And we was like, I was like, can you please like give us a cake? Like it's my best friend's birthday and it's really important. Can you really, can you do this for us? And he was like, no, I'm sorry. And all of a sudden we like, go to the store anyway. <laughs> and so we walk in, we were, we were, uh, we were, we asked him, he was like, do you know a store that sells cakes or whatever? And he was like, well, there's a Sprouts down the street. And we was like, do you know where that is? And then so we was walking, trying to find it. And then while we was walking everywhere, we used to, there was a police officer and we was like, uh, he was like, where are you ladies heading? And he was like, uh, you're trying to find, find Sprouts? And he was like, oh, it's down the street or whatever. And so me and Hannah go sprinting there. I'm like, oh my God, because I don't run. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, no. We go here running with this cake and we go to the store and we get the cake and all this stuff and we hurry up and run to the bus and, you know, put the cake on the bus and all that stuff. And so while we was, while we got our food, we went to the competition and I told them we, we, we got in the line to go inside the comp- for competition and um, I was like, I was in the back or whatever. I, everybody was in a line and I was out of the line. I was telling, I was like, okay, guard, like the other cake is at the school, but don't tell Tierra that because when we get back to the school, we're going to surprise her again with another cake. <laughs> and so, yeah, we, uh, before we, uh, got to, we went inside the door and we, uh, got to where we were supposed to set our stuff or whatever. And then, uh, yeah, open the box and surprise her with the cake and say happy birthday to her. We say happy birthday to her like three times that day. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not going to have birthday song. Yeah, so I think, yeah, it, it was, and it was, oh my God, it was a lot that day. So I was yeah, I, I cried. So yeah, I was like, I was like, yeah. I was like, you better appreciate me forever because we did the buku trying to get that cake. We ran and ran back trying to get that cake because I, being stupid, should have had a V8, left the cake at the school. <laughs> like, <laughs> but yeah, I think, I think that was, that was, all right, that was my best memory and all that stuff that day. I'm we going to cherish that for our birthday. Uh huh. That I'm gonna cherish that for like forever because my that morning when I woke up I was like oh my gosh it's an okay day but it wasn't how I wanted it. and that that just made my day so mm-hmm. I'm still trying to come up I have a lot of good memories with you um I heard things like our bus drives are always fun our good memories yeah. With the band, yes, uh, the I band make- those bus rides. <laughs> those were hilarious. What else? Mm-hmm. That's a lot. We gonna have to come back to this because I got. Some. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. What about what about a uh, freshman year band when we was uh at the hotel for no it was sophomore year in air okay. Yes. Okay. No. Okay. My favorite memory, I think, was when we came together and and, and went to Austin. The band to Austin. 
They, that was my favorite. When we was in the room and that TV uh, animal show had came down. Yeah. Funny. And then just that whole while, because I got to spend the weekend with my best friend, and that was... I have a lot of good memories. I have that. Yeah, we were in um, the hotel. We was playing uh, Beyonce, that Get Me Body song, and we started dancing to yeah. it. And then that animal show, we started calling each other and stuff. And then what else? We was in the whole sophomore year. We was in the hotel. It was me, you, Bree, and Elijah. And yeah. we was watching uh, what, Friday after next. Yeah. We was chilling. <laughs> We was all trying to fit on that bed. It was funny. I think that's it. There are a lot of memories, but yeah, but favorite memories though. Anything else? What about when we went to Austin? The Mr. Scratch Scratch. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I forgot about that. Okay, so. Like we were saying, we had took our band trip to um, Austin. Oh, I'm so happy you thought of that. Um, we, oh, what was that, like the second to last day? We went to like this huge amusement park, and there was an inside part and an outside part. So we wanted to go over there to the go-karts and like watch them race because some of our friends was on there. Like they was running around. I weren't finna get on there, so we was just finna watch. Mm-hmm. And there was this dude that like, I don't know if he had an STD or he... in public like trying to be cool on the phone just <laughs> like he, it was awful it was terrible like you working and you <laughs> on the phone we, what yes. <laughs> that's probably why he working where he was working at an amusement park <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we end up naming him Mr. Scratch Scratch cause that was, that was just awful he he probably should have went to get checked out just <laughs> He was itching like he had For no something. reason. Just out, and I was like, "Can you not like if you gonna do that? Okay, do it. Whatever, that's fine. Why you gotta be so blunt and just out loud? Like, can we keep it PG? There's little kids walking around you. Like, don't nobody need to see that. It's awful. It was, it was terrible. Right? It was crazy. Mm, I think that's it. I think that's it. Let it. Yeah. Oh, oh guess, that, time, that time it rained and when we sitting at the football game it rained and we had to get under the bleachers and like all the black people was talking about their weeds and stuff <laughs> I think that was that was that was marching season when the our football team had their winning season that was the best season ever we had so much fun that season no. Especially that game when we was going against Canton. And they kept making touchdowns back and forth. We kept going in the overtime. Oh my gosh. It was crazy. And I guess when junior year when we won when we won second place championships. Second place at championships, that was a good memory. Yep. Yeah. So let's move on to the next question. Um describe each other in one word. Amazing, duh. Uh, say uh, <clears throat> humble, <laughs> humble, yeah. Because me, because me and Tiara are really different. Because like, <laughs> because like me, like I describe her as really humble. Because you know, like, in certain, in certain situations, like, when we're getting, like, if one, like, if I'm mad, like, I immediately, like, pop off, like, I don't pop off, but, like, I approach situations differently than she does when, like, we're mad, and when she's, like, it takes her a long time to get mad before she actually, like, goes off on you, 
And that's how, that's how why we're different. She's just so like calm and cool, collected. Like on the inside, she probably like <laughs> say anything until you really make her upset. Like there, I, there's, uh, I really see her get like go off on somebody or get mad. She she's not. Yeah, that's why I say she's humble. So. <laughs> Uh, next question. What's your dream job? Um, we've been through well, this day for 16 minutes. Oh, it's gonna be gosh. Long. <laughs> it is. Okay. My, well, I think my major explains. Okay. Let me just talk about my major and then I'll go into my dream job. Okay. So I want to major in political science and religions with minors in business and women's studies. Um, I guess my dream job is fits together because I want to own a foundation for self-empowerment of teens and kids because I feel like a lot of times they go through things and there's a lot of things happening to the families and stuff right now, especially in the generation that we live in, and they need a safety place to go to. So that's my thing. That's your dream job? Yeah, to work with kids and have a foundation where they could just they could come to when they they need to and just give them the tools to be a better person and go out there and achieve their dreams. So, well, my dream job is I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to own my own business, maybe in either. Like, I want to either own my own business or own, like, other, like, franchises. If I own my own business, it'll probably be in retail. Like, retail, that's why uh, when I go to college, I'm going to be majoring in, uh, I'm going to get my BBA, which is Bachelor's of Business Administration, and I'm going to minor in fashion merchandising. So, yeah, I want to, like, work like work with clothes on and stuff. And I want to be able to, like, maybe when I'm, like, 30 or in my 30s or something to uh, own different franchises and all that stuff. Like, I want to be the person that, like, when I'm in, like, like we're in a group or, or like, a meeting or something, I want, like, somebody to, like, bring me a pair of clothes and I'll be, like, I'll have the say of what goes in that store. You know, that's what I want to do. And then maybe when I'm, like, 40... I want to be a CEO, like open up my own headquarters and all that stuff. So yeah, I want to be a business, uh, a businesswoman, cause, and I like I found out that I wanted to be a businesswoman like my junior year because I just I hate being told what to do when I get. I get I just, I can't. That's why. That's why I, I think that's where the businesswoman in me comes from. So. And I think I'm in the right, I've been in the right career path too, like all my high school, like four years high school career, my electives have been business classes or money, money management classes. Like I took in money matters, money matters, banking and finance, entrepreneurship, accounting one. So, uh, so I know, I'm, I think, you know, I'm, I'm one of those kids that I didn't, I did not play around four years in high school. Some kids do, like some kids switch through elective and all that stuff and, then when they get in college, they they try to find out what they're gonna do, and it's like, well, if you would have, if you would have not messed around in high school, what are you doing? I had to wipe my eye. If you my work do it. Yeah, it's like if you would have not messed around in high school, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be trying to decide what you're gonna do when you are in college. But yeah, I've been like I I, I knew that I was gonna major in business or whatever. Like my sophomore junior year so next question is what's your favorite brand of makeup that exactly <laughs> this is oh, I, I like yes man uh-huh. um uh-huh. if you're looking for like, the eyeliner wait and while has some good stuff too but it's uh-huh. this mac yeah, but Mac, I use like, but I use like different brands. My favorite is Mac, but I use like, I use Maybelline, I use LA Colors, like drug drugstore brand makeup. Um, yeah, hey Maybelline and Mac, Maybelline, Wet n Wild, and all that stuff. Uh, next question is. Sometimes you 
think you'll be fine by yourself Cause a dream is a wish that you make all alone It's easy to feel like you don't need help But it's harder to walk on your own You'll change inside When you realize the world comes to life John.